Greetings everyone, and great here for another Age of Fires 4 replay. Spawn blood on the left side as the Magenta Chinese, we have Beastie. Spawn top on the left side as the Blue Roos, we have a greedy printed cat. But since we do have Roos play on the field, let's switch back out to him. Magenta going straight for, we'll find this to your deposit, very nice. This one back here is pretty safe to collect. And we won't find it just yet as well. Both of Magenta's deer deposits seem pretty safe to me. Additionally, all the gold is relatively close by as well. He could probably put the uh, Bardock in the Sun in this region as well. Maybe right there is a good spot. Yeah, right now the Chinese player has pretty good map generation, I would say. The Bruce player has not found his deer deposit. Has found this deer deposit. We'll find a wolf there. Does find these numbers sheep. Looks like he has what three scouts in the field. Magenta right now. That's blue scout. Magenta find his other deer deposit, so don't worry about losing deer deposit to his opponent. And blue will find his deer deposit and another wolf. He's been finding good number of wolves, hasn't he? Another wolf there. Oh, we got the golden gate. That is very nice to see. And with killing off this tier deposit, it will put him tier, uh, trade bound to tier 3. Or not tier 3, tier 2. We'll check back on that a little bit later. But we got Bardock and the Sun being put on the field way over here. Okay. He's going to seize uh, the deer and Pumbaa. I was not expecting that spot. I would just assume like a good spot would be right around here or maybe here on that little dry patch of grass. Either way. Golden, the Golden Gate has been pulled field. Immediately purchased stone. So we've got a fast second town center. That maybe the... Uh, can the Golden Gate make you get the fastest... Long distance mining? It's 200 stone. Need 350. 200 stone. What is he eyeing for 200 stone? Ah! Another charge there. That's what he's eyeing. Okay. Now that's interesting. And deploy another town center over here. We do have both Bodakin's son and the Imperial Academy. So he's in the Song Dynasty. Got the survival tickets being researched as well. So both players are echoing up. Wheelbarrow on the way. Got a wooden fortress here. Since he does not have the problem for a free wooden fortress, he has to actually build one. We got a stable here for a bit of stability in his life. He most likely will eye from early nights, but he could actually eye for horsemen. He sees a stone positive being collected on up. Got some walls over here, some palisade walls. He has this tree deposit and this tree deposit there. Pretty good for natural barriers. And these bit of trees there can also be useful for natural barriers, especially for the barrack and the sun for itself. Living up here. He won't be able... Well, he won't be able to get tier 3 trade bounties as his opponent already has killed off uh, this ore. Which is probably right here. Yep, I see tusks. So, he will not get tier 3 trade bounty unless he gets the high trade house. Early knight now being pulled in the field. Pair of archery ranges as well. So, now we're going to see a bit of aggression relatively soon. Blue is trying to eye... Okay, he knows. He's going... Does he know about this? Uh, not sure how much she saw this earlier. He's going to contest the deer. This is going to get uh, strange very quickly. We got archers in an early night here. Does he have siege engineers? Does he have a blacksmith? 
He has a charge there who has recently bought another pile of stone. Maybe for the various wooden fortress research here. We got another wooden fortress here. So we got a tower push. One village does go down. Wooden fortress does get built. Going for an arrow slit now. He has put the wooden fortress here. Village is migrating back to the poor or somewhere back up here. Garrison's the wooden fortress there. Going for arrow slit. It may be worth it. Go for castle turret. It's okay. Plus one range. It will deny these deer. That would be certain. I don't think he can deny boar. That's right there. I don't think plus one range. I think plus one range will go right around here. So I don't think it will get boar. Nor even hit the mill. A garrison in there as well. With some archers. One unit there. There was two villagers. So I think those... They're right there, so he is being aggressive with Wooden Fortress. Wooden Fortresses basically are a fortified outpost without the need of getting stone. It's also much cheaper, but can't get the fire armor, so Mass Spearman can be effective against uh, Wooden Fortresses. Throw enough spear into the problem, you can probably kill anything. But... Most time you can't really pull out that many spearmen. We do now have the scout receiving a bit of damage there. And over here we do have scout down. Ore has been cleaned up over here. The last of deer just been is being cleaned up now. May want to go for a mill or empty cabin right there to get up some berries as well some gold scout down not big surprise and looks like um, magenta is almost out of sheep as well hey yeah he has like one sheep remaining he got a lot of ba uh, berries there uh that scout just stabbed the uh uh sheep right there that must have been a blue sheep We got have a battering ram being blown field. This wooden fortress has no garrison at the moment. He bought wood with his golden gate, so he's utilizing the charges. Very nice. A good number of early nice archers here. The archers can be very useful. We've got some Zunch news. As well as a handful of Chinese archers. The Russian archers are way outnumbered, and he can't utilize his early knights with the spearmen. Adrian will knock down the wooden fortress. Yep, looks like the last of the deer have been cleaned up. Now put the berries. Or place them there by the hunting cabin. Should be perhaps push up against the trees a little bit more. But this will be a better spot for collecting berries, so. What do you want? Extra gold or extra or better food income? Pick your poison. Poisonous berries. Archers now push the way forward. When the roots archers do go down as well. Bruce Bar is going for more early knights and archers. Minimal stockpile. We've got some stockpile by the Chinese player, but mostly wood. He does not have, or he does have siege engineering, of course. He has a battering ram. Bruce Knights nice charging way forward. We've got a good number of zoom dudes here. His spear way back there. He could have successfully charged in. Plus one range damage on the way for the Roost player. Already has plus one range armor. Chinese player already is not going to plus one melee damage. Don't know if that makes his spear more divisible against the knights when it comes to stabs. Wooden Fortress being battered down.
Chinese player is a pretty sizable army. Chinese player has 39 archers versus opponents 38 to Zunchnu. Zunchnu's do offer higher DPS, but there's less range. Good volley there. Oh, and does find a very good number of these villagers. He will retreat them back right into the Roost Archers. He's in a stuck in a rock in the hard place. And all those villagers going down. Good pick there. He is slowing to see, so he has more villagers to mode, having two and a half Qs versus just two Qs of villager production. It does split up the Chinese army, so the Zunchnus will be picked on off by the Roost Archers. And now we got these knights falling back. Does put some phantom rams there. And some villagers. Spearman does go down as well as a villager. Going for more villagers now. There's actually not a whole lot of spearmen there. If you take out those handful of spearmen, they can gauge the uh, Zunchnus no problem, but got more spearmen in reserve. This player is still pretty far from aging on up. The Chinese player has enough gold to age up straight to Imperial. So the Chinese player needs to reorganize the economy to food. He has zero villagers on gold. That's good, I think. Which that's a bad thing to say, but in this case, I think that's good. He's not going to spend that gold anytime soon. Archer is pushing forward, some good damage there. Bruce nice charging way forward. Spearman advancing. Spear brace there, unsuccessful. Looks like going eye for some more berries. Berries are always a food source, just not a great food source. Forward, archers getting distracted by the outpost and gate. Sway forward, some archers still getting distracted. Spearman does get some stab on the Roost Knight. Knights charging way forward, does impact the Zunch News quite hard. Roost archers firing away. While the best for them to hit the Spearman, hitting the Zunch News is not a bad target for them as well. The Roost Army is slowly backing on off now. It seems like the Roost player is doing quite well with all the engagements, but simply can't land a knockout punch. Nice to charge before, getting some damage from the Zoom Shinoos now. Now the Chinese player is backing on off. Has lost quite a bit of his army. All of a sudden, they just start disintegrating. Got two town, town centers next to each other. He has a good amount of storage here. He may just want to throw these guys inside the town centers and get those extra arrows firing. It'd be a hardened placement. Unlikely to be displaced anytime soon. This player has 53 arts to field, as well as a good number of knights. Nice to find some villagers here. Chinese player does have textiles. That was getting a great spear brace there, and that spear just got a double kill. Bruce archers and knights push me forward. More of the farms being built. So they're going to be triple stack, which is not great. I don't think. Going past double stacks is a good idea. Here's a nice charging right forward. Spearman does not get engagements. Some Zunchu is being pushed forward as well. Spearman gains some hits there on those Roost Archers. We got all the Blacks of Free Search right now for the Chinese player, so he has increased melee and melee uh, armor and damage, while the Roost player only has the Archer 
damage. All spearmen can clean up. Sushi is firing away. The Bruce Knights are going to take one damage per pool. And the Knights are slowly whittling down. The pure professionals and villagers go down as well. A couple more Bruce Knights charge way forward. A couple spearmen finding archers, not the Knights. Nice to all go down. High trade house now being built. We finally got some of the castle age. Chinese player has plenty of gold and wood. Needs a lot, a lot more food before we can age on up. High trade house is being pulled out right here. Not sure what would be the best spot for it. Maybe right there or right around here would be best, but either way, you will get the high trace off house in the field. He probably will get at most maybe 150 gold per minute, even at tier 3 trade bounty. That's my guess. Got some hand cannier splits now being pulled in the field. He's got a far defensive line. He having a bit of trouble with all the heavy armor. He now has consumed quite a bit of his gold. He has enough gold to age on up. We got all their important research, more range armor and damage, more archer, uh, veteran archer, regular knights. This will cause some problems with the Chinese player. He needs to age up quickly. He's probably going to eye for the astronomical clock tower. And now I got the astronomical, uh, the astronomical clock tower being deployed now. Castle Age has been researched. Veteran arch or veteran Zunchnu on the way. May need to get a handful of crossbowmen to help snipe the knights. Because right now he probably won't do one damage against those. Bruce Knights. Does not have plus one range damage from Blacksmith either. Warrior Arts Fortitude now on the way for the Roost player. He also has a Warrior Monk. He's going for relics. Got some Palace Guard in the build queue. That will be useful. I do believe he needs to get some more mills over here. I think triple sex is too far. Just put a mill here. The blacksmith's in the way. So maybe a mill here and here would be good. We got another hand candy slits. Hand candy slits are pretty cost effective. Zinch News firing away, getting some good damage. Got plus one range damage now. Let's put the Zinch News damage up to seven. Bruce Knights are up to six armor, so they will only take one damage per bolt, as, as the same as the previous age. We've also got all the economic text for the Bruce player being researched as well. Clock Tower Nessa Bees fires away, gets an excellent barrage there. Knights taking some damage there. Trying to skirt around. Filter does go down there. 
There's his archers retreating all the way back home. Knight does go down there. Rusty's knights being pursued. Blue has claimed two relics and picked up a third. Relic number five is here. Relic number four is right there. So looks like Blue's going to get four relics. Magenta should be able to get one. Warrior Monk does go down. Block Tower and SBs finds a good volley there on those villagers. Does cancel the keep. Knights do go down there. Up north, we do have these all scarred, hacking part that villager. Able to reach on through the open gate. Whatever, oh, golden tower has four, golden gate has four charges. You always keep those charges up until he needs them. He could actually, he's getting pretty close to, he has enough gold to age on up. He could ask to get the golden gate to buy some food. They to age up, that would of course give him uh, 600 food, of course, will cost about 400 gold. How's High Trade House doing? 125 gold per minute. He has not been clicked up the deer. Nice population of deer here. A lot of forest puppers. They're quite delicious. Do now the wooden fortress here, being up here with spring gold. He blues also very greedy, trying to steal the stone here. The wooden fortress will go down. Village getting stabbed. Nice, taking some damage there. We've got a couple of war monks providing some Saint's Blessing. Now the Saint's Blessing is these man arms have seven armor. But again, they're still only, they have up to six armor this age, so they only take one damage from his introduce. He does have, of course, a UN Dynasty, which means he does move fast. Palace Guard, that Spearman says has movement speed of 1.8 from a charge attack. <laughs> uh, Palace Guard can move almost as fast as Knight. Close enough, I would say. Zuchnu's got a handful of crossbows now engaging. Zuchnu should do just fine with the veteran archers. Horseman charges his way forward. Alice Guard and Spearman advancing as well. Bruce players trying to mix in some horsemen. Does have better horsemen now just completed. Of course, he does have access to Boyar's Fortitude as well, so he has some pretty nice horsemen this age. Maganel finds a volley. Does roll a miss. Round damage there. Crossbowman and Zuchu is now falling back, but then probably get pursued by the horseman and picked on off. Got a keep here. There's also five of golden stone here. The stone has been robbed by 500. And we're going to have a massive number of villagers here. Enough villagers that you need to as uh, two keeps to stay alive. A handful of forces enough to try and gauge a small force. Blue gets split up a little bit. One of fortress severely damaged. High armor now being built. Damage there over here. We can now the keep firing away, getting some hits there on that outpost. 
Palskar now engaging this various horsemen. Oh, we got Fire Lance as well. Remember, that is a human dynasty unit. Most time we see this is an age four unit. In actuality, it is a dynasty unit. We got also got another great gatehouse firing away. Now I need to take time to finish off these horsemen. We've got the hand cannon slits and the great gatehouse finish them off. So both players now age four. High armory versus the great gatehouse. Of course, the Chinese player can always get all the landmarks. Elite Horseman on the way, so we players by eye for Horseman Shrelsey. Don't see Shrelsey in the build queue just yet. Bruce player needs more gold and other resources. He has this gold deposit that has 88 gold left there. He sells this gold deposit untouched, unspoiled. Ooh, and it also got a good number of villagers here being hacked apart. And it looks like they're loaded up on gold as well. Trying to claim this gold deposit, which Blue is now trying to claim. These villagers need to get on out of there. Take some damage. North got some forces torching this stuff down. Got these forces trying to torch this stuff down as well. Walls to go down there. We do now have these Osgard charging the way forward. Spearmen being brought back there. Osgard turning the way forward. This may not be enough space for all these villagers. Wonkin has one charge at the moment. Horsemen or Fire Lance is not torching down these structures. Fire Lances do have excellent torch damage at 34. Which makes the Mongols jealous. We've also got some Strelsey on the field. So we've got Strelsey Force or Strelsey Spearman currently in composition. This player's now going for Tithe Barn as well. Some of these villagers may be going down. Who's just getting picked apart by these Palace Guard? Fast moving palace guard will hunt down these villagers very easily. Fire lances do go down there. And blue does back up the game now. This is Angry Scene. Thank you for watching and on to the next replay.